The R-Cycle LA program in 2015 um, was a project that we worked really closely with the City of Los Angeles on um, to make sure that the e-waste that they were actually diverting from their own internal staff uh, went back to the communities uh, in Los Angeles all across the city. The main focus of that, that project was really to make sure that uh, data was wiped properly, um, taken care of, and, and safe, and then that those devices were then reloaded with appropriate software to then go back into the community so they could actually use them and, and continue to have a life for those computers, right? The awesome thing about that program was that the city in partnership with several foundations actually sent some funding to um, different groups like Human IT to bring in members of the community to actually refurbish the technology as well. So at-risk youth that live in uh, some of the districts across LA came in and actually partnered um, with some of our human IT staff to, to do that. We were fortunate to, to work with those kids and, and help them gain some skills. Separately, like we were able to get 10,000 devices out to different districts across the city of LA. And so it was a huge win for um, all people involved, especially human IT, and just a great uh, program that kind of kick-started a lot of the work that we do here. At the time, we had actually seven full-time staff um, at Human IT, there was only about four of us that were working on that project. Um, so I will give some of our uh, staff a shout out um, that, that are still with us here today. Getting 10,000 devices out in a little bit more than a year's time, um, you know, that, that was a huge win for us, right? To be able to say that like we can actually achieve these impact-based outcomes that we started Human IT to do in the first place.